stop and think for a moment. What what is lava? It's hot rocks. Yes, it's molten <laughs> hot rocks. Molten goo. I love the word. Quicksand goo. is like stacked particles that shouldn't exist the way they do. It's magic. <laughs> <laughs> From the brains behind Brains On, it's Smash Boom Best. The show for people with big opinions. Hi, I'm Molly Bloom, and this is Smash Boom Best, the show where we take two things, smash them together, and ask you to decide which one is best. In today's matchup, two fearsome natural phenomena are going head-to-head. It's quicksand versus lava. Lava is cooler because it produces good soil for plants. I think lava is like cool, like fire, but more liquidy, and it like goes down the volcano. One reason why quicksand is better than lava is because it's more interesting, as it makes you sink faster. I don't know how that happens. And I like lava because it has lots of different cool colors. It's like bright and glowy and super, super, really, really super hot. Which one will be crowned the smash boom best? Fast acting liquefied soil or hot bubbling molten rock? Our judge today will decide which of the two is the most fascinating phenomenon. She's here from St. Paul to preside over this debate. Welcome to the show, Kate Wexler. Hello. What comes to mind when you think of quicksand? Um, I kind of think of that kind of cheesy movie when sometimes it's the dumb character just like falls and then they're just flailing their arms and Mm -hmm. they just sink. And what about lava? What comes to mind? Um, Well, I think volcanoes Mm -hmm. kind of. Destruction and it's beautiful. Just kind of, I've seen pictures on the internet, just like of like rivers of lava and stuff. It is beautiful. Before we get started, I want to hear more about your debate experience. So, do you ever get into debates with your family or friends? Oh yeah, definitely. Just about the stupidest stuff sometimes, but we we just keep going. So, what is your debate tactics when you find yourself in that kind of situation? Um, I kind of reason. Um, Kind of try to find the most flaws in their logic. So you try to poke holes in the other person's argument? Yeah. Well, let's meet our debaters. Here to share a love of lava with its fiery hot molten flows is Tom Weber. I am very excited to be here. (laughs) This is going to be great. I can't wait. And on the other side, we have the tricky, shifty, always where you least expect it team quicksand represented by Jed Kim. Yeah, yeah, quicksand! (laughs) (laughs) All right, well, we are hitting the ground running, but before we kick off this debate, let me set the ground rules. Team Quicksand and Team Lava will have four chances to rep for their side. Our first debate round is Declaration of Greatness, when both debaters present all the coolest facts, figures, and stories they could find to persuade us. Round two is the Micro Round. It's a different challenge every week, and we've given both teams time to prepare. Next is the Sneak Attack, a challenge that's all always a complete surprise. And the last round is the final six, when our debaters have just six more words to sway the judge. At the end of each round, we'll let Kate and all of our listeners at home mull it over before awarding a point. Once we've made it through the rounds, we'll tally up the points and declare just one of our contenders the smash boom best. All right, Kate, are you ready to be persuaded? I'm so ready for this. And how about you debaters? Are you ready? I am. I'm, I'm kind of ready. I'm <laughs> Hot and bothered. I see what I did there with lava. I'm ready to go. (laughs) Okay, it's time for our first round. Declaration of Greatness. Both teams are going to take us on a deep dive in their opening arguments for their side. We flipped a coin, and Tom, you're up first. In the contest between lava and quicksand, I'd lava to think lava wins every time even if there were some poor patch of quicksand out there next to a volcano, and then the volcano burst, the lava would destroy that patch of quicksand. Lava all the way. So what is lava? I think of it as earth barfing. Ew. Yeah, and unlike when you or your pet upchucks, this barfing is lethal. The earth is basically a huge ball filled with burning hot liquid rock. There's a thin, solid layer on top called the crust. We live on that crust, and it protects us from that molten goo. Thanks, crust. You're welcome, Tom. Now, that crust is made up of pieces or plates that sit next to or on top of each other, and sometimes there are spaces between those plates or cracks in the crust. 
When that happens, Earth's fiery insides sneak up and you get lava, that molten rock, molten rock oozing from the belly of the Earth and spinning out. And watch out, that lava is so hot it's usually glowing because it's upwards of 2,000 degrees hot. Have you ever been boiling water and a little bit splashes up and scalds you and it's super hot? The water that just splashed you is a little more than 200 degrees Fahrenheit hot. Ouch! But lava can be 10 times that, 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Just listen to Jess Phoenix, a volcano scientist, tell this story about that time lava robbed her. One time, I was walking through a forest in Hawaii that was being burned by a river of lava. I was crawling through the underbrush and dodging trees when my favorite pocket knife fell out of my pocket and right into the 2,000 degree Fahrenheit river of molten lava. My first instinct was to reach down and try to grab the pocket knife back, but the immense heat stopped me. So I had to watch as the lava just completely ate my poor pocket knife. Because when you drop your knife into a river of lava, you just have to let it go. Nothing's bringing it back. Lava can do whatever it wants, and it can do a lot more than steal your stuff. Some people think lava might have killed the dinosaurs. That's one of the theories, at least. A huge series of volcanoes spewed off so much toxic gas that some dinos couldn't breathe and died. But more importantly, the climate of the entire Earth changed so much the dinos couldn't survive. We're dead. We've also, sadly, seen some of this destruction play out this year in Hawaii on the Big Island. A volcano there has been erupting since 1983 with no days off. And earthquakes earlier this year caused the lava to change course. Lava started coming up in cracks on roads, homes were destroyed, and people were evacuated. Lava is an extraordinary natural event to watch from a distance. And while all that destruction is awful, there is another side to lava. It doesn't just destroy, it creates. When it bursts through from deep inside the earth, it can make the foundation for new islands. That volcano in Hawaii that's been erupting since 1983 has spent several years just spewing lava into the ocean. And when that lava cools, it makes the island just a little bit bigger. And maybe you've heard of how big forest fires can reinvigorate ecosystems in a forest with regrowth. The same is true with lava. When lava goes through and destroys stuff, ferns and small plants start popping up within a few years. Lava also wins because it's absolutely beautiful. Look up a video of lava flowing. It's mesmerizing. Ooh. But the final reason, the final reason lava wins is because of you, all of you listening. How many of you have played the lava game? You're on the couch in the living room. The cushions are all over there and you have to jump to the cushion and the floor is lava. And if you don't jump on the cushion, you fall in the lava. No, I've never heard of that game played with quicksand. Lava brings people together. Lava, respect it and love it. Powerful stuff from Team Lava. Kate, what do you think? Any fact or argument grab you? It reminded me of the how islands were created. I knew that before, but I just forgot about that. You liked hearing how lava can create in mm -hmm. addition to being able to destroy. And Tom, I, I really hate to break it to you, but what? when we used to play that game at my house, yeah. it was quicksand. What? No! Oh, no! No, yeah. it was lava! That's a, that, oh. No, it's no, true. But there's, it's there, true. There is All two the versions smart kids of it. Played yeah. quicksand. We played quicksand yeah, at my house. Quicksand I, and lava. So, I mean, they both exist. So I, I played lava. Uh, they're both fun. <laughs> oh, man. That's All why right. you're going to lose. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> so, Jed, we always give both teams a chance to respond. So, Jed, that means you have 30 seconds to throw some cold water on Team Lava. And I will cut you off when we get to 30 seconds. Oh, boy. So... We I don't even think I'll need 30 seconds <laughs> to destroy lava. <laughs> so we're starting right now. The words you used in talking about lava have things like crust, goo, spewing. Not the best way you want to paint your beloved liquid. Uh, lava... You talk about the beauty of it being super hot. I think it's a hot mess. And finally, <laughs> ah. you're talking about it 
killed the dinosaurs as a good thing. It killed the dinosaurs. And we can have dinosaurs. Time. Tom, do you have any uh, words you want to share with Jed? Uh, Jed, if the dinosaurs hadn't died, you and I wouldn't be here. I could have a dinosaur. <laughs> Kate, you could have a dinosaur. That would be really be cool. a dinosaur. <laughs> Excellent. Well, now, Jed, it is time for your declaration of greatness, so let's hear it. You're three days deep in the jungle, hunting for treasure. Danger lurks all around, but you're prepared. Extra strength tiger repellent? Check. Snake bite kit? Check. What about swampy toe rot? You look down to check your boots and you get a sinking feeling. Literally, a sinking feeling. You're in quicksand! It's already up to your knees, and struggling just sinks you further into the muck. Dump the gold, lose the tools, they're just weighing you down. It's up to your chest. Your one shot is to snag the vine above you. Got it! But as you pull, it snaps. And the last thing the jungle sees is your hat slowly sinking below the ground. Man, Quicksand is awesome! First of all, it's got a super rad name. Quicksand! It just sounds like action-adventure. Quicksand. Lava, on the other hand, sounds like a mountain throwing up. Lava! What makes Quicksand look like a solid foothold, but actually a boggy reality? It's the way the sand stacks up that allows for maybe twice as much water or air as normal in between the grains. It's barely stable. And then, if you disturb it, the suspension collapses. All the particles pack tighter together, and that's how you get stuck. The good news is you probably won't get sucked under if you get trapped in quicksand. Most people just sink up to their waists. If you do get trapped, you should try to move as much as possible. Quicksand is thixotropic. Thixo what? Thixotropic. Basically, it's a gel that turns runny when shaken. Moving your legs will be tough at first, but stirring the muck will introduce water back into the mix, making it easier to escape. Hooray! Another thing that's awesome about quicksand is you can make it in your backyard. First, dig a hole, or just use a bucket like I did. Okay, fill it about halfway with water. Add sand. Cover it with a thin layer of sand and leaves to make it look solid. And voila! Quicksand! Now you can trap burglars or wolves. Guess what would happen if you made lava in your backyard? Well, you'd probably get on the news. Jed, I'm standing in the charred remains of a neighborhood that burned to the ground after a kid made lava in his backyard. Tamara, was the kid bonkers? Definitely, Jed. Why else would he try to make lava? If you want to see lava, you are very limited in your options. In the U.S., you've basically got to go to Hawaii. Quicksand is far more common. It happens near rivers, creeks, lakes. Susie Rowley lives in Harupa Valley in Southern California. A couple years ago, she was out for a horse ride with her daughter and a friend. We got into an area that we weren't familiar with and we couldn't find main trails. We were in heavy, heavy brush. They took a wrong turn. And all of a sudden, all three of our horses started sinking. (laughs) Immediately, I'm screaming, everybody jump off, because the horses are better off without your weight on there. They struggled to find solid footing, but they couldn't tell which spots were safe. He fell about five different times into the quicksand. Susie's been around quicksand before, so she wasn't worried about herself. But horses can get exhausted and then quit fighting. They finally got to an island of solid ground and called 911. Our horses still sunk a little bit, but they were able to get out, and then we were um, rescued, basically. (laughs) Because of quicksand, Susie has an amazing, suspenseful story. Now let's hear that exact same story, but this time it's lava instead of quicksand. Oh, right. None of them would be alive today if it were lava. Ladies and gentlemen, the choice is clear. Do you want something that is a veritable magic trick of physics? Something that you can both play with and use to trap enemies? Something that will let you, too, have a harrowing story? Let me hear you say it! Quicksand! Well, I think it's going to take a minute for all of that to sink in. Oh, (laughs) wait a minute. Hold on. I'm sorry. Uh. That was a groaner. Kate, what did you think of Team Quicksand's declaration of greatness? I thought it was really cool. I didn't think that you could make it. That's right. Are you going to try? Yeah. 
I mean, that'd be pretty cool. Team Lava, it is time for your comeback. Mm -hmm. You have 30 seconds, and your time starts now. You are dodging the issue, Senator. You say that you can make quicksand fine. The whole reason we're here is because lava made the ground we're on. It's flipping the narrative here. You can make quicksand, or lava can make your earth. You pick. You decide. Because you know what? If we didn't have a crust that was made by lava that cooled, we would all be dead. Lava helps create. Didn't you hear my thing earlier about it creating <laughs> and destructing? And also, by the way, lava, awesome word. Lava, lava, and lava. Lava, 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 lava. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, this is going to be a hard decision, Kate. Yes. This is, ooh. Oh, that is it for this first round of this debate battle, which means it's time, Kate, for you to decide who gets the first point. Which of these substances is more fascinating? Lava. Oh, man, it lava. is so... Oh, don't lava. say it out loud. <laughs> Take a, wow, these guys are really trying to... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Don't say it out loud, but take a minute to think it over and then mark down on your score sheet. Listeners at home, you too, feel free to pause for a minute to talk it over. Okay, Kate, did you decide? Um, oh, it's a tough one. I know, this is really so tough. So which is more fascinating? It's spelled um, J-E-D. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Oh. She has marked a point. She's ready. Yeah. All right, we're going to give our debaters a halftime break. And did you know that your debate idea could end up on the show? Just head to smashboom.org to submit. That's what Mark and Philip from Fenton, Missouri did. Our debate idea is dinosaurs versus penguins. So what will it be, dinosaurs or penguins? Stay tuned at the end of the show to hear what Mark and Philip think. And we have a favor to ask. Yes, we are a brand new show and we need your help to grow. So name drop us whenever you get a chance. Like the next time you're accepting a major award. I like to thank the Academy, my parents, my cats, my dogs, and my sister. And of course, Smash Boom Best, the coolest debate show around. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Smash Boom Best. Best. Boom. Smash. Smash. Boom. Best. You're listening to Smash Boom Best, the show about showdowns. Today, we're pitting two of Mother Nature's most fascinating phenomena against each other. It's lava versus quicksand. Both are pretty incredible, if you ask me, but it's Kate's opinion that matters most today. She's already heard one round of spirited debate, and now we're going to move on to round two. <laughs> Micro round. It's the micro round. We sent this challenge to our debaters in advance, so they've had ample time to prepare. Their challenge today is speed facts. Both teams are going to rattle off as many facts as they can in just one breath. Jed and Tom, are you ready? I am. <laughs> so I don't need to time you because it just it just depends on your lung <laughs> capacity. Your lung. Yeah. So have you guys been training for this, trying to increase your lung capacity? Well, I've been eating more. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I'm an Olympic swimmer. Oh, well. Tremendous lung capacity. Excellent. Tremendous. Yeah, that does help. Filled with fat. Mm. All right, well, Tom went first last time, so Jed, we're going to start with you. So, ready, <sighs> inhale, and go. Quicksand is also called jelly sand by some people. It's thixotropic, which means it's a solid when it settles, but runny when mixed. Ketchup and yogurt are also thixotropic. Yum! Quicksand can look wet or dry, and it can happen in both water or dry sand. It can also be made of clay or peat. It can happen all over the world, usually by rivers, and you can make it in your backyard. Trapped, you'll sink up to your waist or armpits, but probably not more. It's twice as dense as a human body, so you'll float in it, but it's super strong. Lifting your foot out of quicksand would take 100,000 newtons, the same strength needed to lift a medium-sized car. It's deadly if you get trapped in it, and you're in an area where the tide will come back in. Quicksand used to be a lot more popular in the 1960s. One out of every 35 movies had quicksand. Some people are really into the idea of getting trapped in quicksand. I am not one of those people. Legendary rock star David Bowie wrote a call song called Quicksand. It was weird. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was Ooh, very wow. impressive. That was I am really not going to go. <laughs> my, lungs, just not. my lungs hurt just watching you do that. I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Dedicated to quicksand. That was amazing. Wow. I okay. like that dedication. Wow. wow. Okay. Right. Tom. I did that just for you, Kate. It is your turn to breathe deep and talk fast. On your mark, inhale and go. 
Lava is not just an earthly thing. One of Jupiter's moons, Io, spews lava all day. That's all it does. There's also a planet really, 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 really far away called Kepler-78b that astronomers call the Hell Planet because they think it's entirely covered in lava. The oh, co- you just oh. took it. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> See? Oh, but at oh. least I got intergalactic. Yes, you did. Because, you know, where you are you going to find quicksand on Io? It's You're true. not. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am feeling very out of breath after all of that. But Kate and listeners, it's time to think it over. Who did the best in this round? And it does not necessarily need to be the person who listed the most Yeah, facts. that's true. <laughs> Maybe. That's true. What it obviously I is. agree. Maybe you care more about who had the more interesting ones, the longest breath. It's totally up to you. Style, substance, they both matter. So, Kate, did you decide who gets the point for this round? I have. All right, uh, mark it down. <laughs> the whole planet's lava, I'm just saying. <laughs> Listeners, you too, mark your point. How are you feeling, debaters? Confident as ever? Oh, man. I feel so good. Like, cool, silky smooth, like what's that? A little lightheaded, perhaps? (laughs) A little bit. A little little dizzy. Wait. Did you see that? What? Lurking in the bushes just ahead, it's the sneak attack round. (laughs) Sneak attack. Today's surprise challenge is... Cheer up. We want both sides to write a cheer about why their team is awesome. Spelling and clapping are welcome as are high kicks, but our podcast audience won't be able to see those. (laughs) Jed and Tom will give you a minute to brainstorm, write your Mm. cheers while we play some lovely hold music. Quicksand, lava. Quicksand, lava. Quicksand, ooh, that's quick. Lava, quicksand, lava, quicksand, lava. Ooh, that's hot. Okay, guys. Mm-hmm. Are you ready with your cheers? I had to get my pom-poms. All right, so <coughs> Let's do this. Jed went first last time, yeah. so it is now Tom's turn yeah. to cheer us up with a stunning lava cheer. Ah! <laughs> you ready? Oh, I'm ready. All right. Hey, it's lava, L-A-V-A, lava. Hey, it's lava, L-A-V-A, lava. Lava is an (laughs) awe-inspiring natural phenomenon that is the basis for life on Earth. How could it possibly lose? Lava! (laughs) Very good work, Tom. That was a really nice backflip you just did. (laughs) Right here in the studio. Impressive. Okay, Jed, time for your cheer. Give me an L. Give me an A. Give me a V. Give me a... Nope. Quicksand, quicksand. It's the best. It'll sink you to your chest, but you won't die. (laughs) Wow. Wow. These are both really good cheers, Kate. I don't know how you're going to decide, but it's time to mark down a point. But you have to. You have to choose which of these cheers was most impressive in whichever way, shape, or form you want to decide that. Whatever criteria you want to use. Listeners, you too. Mark a point. You're looking a little nervous there, Tom. No, I, feel I felt like I had a good comeback after my little breath issue in the second round. I feel like my cheer yeah. brought back the game, so I'm, I'm feeling this good. It's hard. Team it's a hard decision. For the win. But <laughs> I've, made, go my, I've made, made my decision. You made yeah. your decision. All right, tensions are high, and we have just one more round before this debate is settled. It's the final six. The final six. Jed and Tom, you both have six more words to persuade Kate that your side is the most interesting. Jed, you're up first. Ahem. Stuck in sick land? It's quicksand! <laughs> Excellent. That was rather avant-garde, I think. <laughs> Tom? I like to rhyme. <laughs> Tom, your six words. My six-word closing statement, humans would not exist without lava. Mm. Can I also point out that Mike drums and lava <laughs> Mike can't drop. exist together? Not with that attitude, they can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Kate, you have heard of four fiery rounds of debate, and now it is time to make some very big decisions. You have one last point to give out. Which side came off as most fascinating, lava or quicksand? Did you decide? 
I think it's a tie. I mean, <gasps> well, who got that last point? Lava. Oh. Yeah. Came but from it's behind a two for you. Oh, okay, yeah. it's a tie. So, but, I mean, so we have were, a tie. You were in the lead, and then <gasps> oh my! <laughs> and then you sank. Quick Sam was in the lead. Lava made it an amazing comeback, and now it's a tie. Yes, it's a tie. Uh, okay, I'm so, so we nervous. have a tiebreaker prepared for just this circumstance. <sighs> Is it arm wrestling? <laughs> <laughs> it's it. not a feat of strength. <laughs> it's not a feat of strength. All right, everyone, it's time for our tiebreaker round. Sudden death. Debaters, your sudden death challenge today is this. Design a signature dish inspired by your side. What is it and why is it the most delicious? Give you a minute to think about it. Excited for this. I want to eat it. I, I wish you were like now making I'm getting it. hungry. I know. All right. So done. It's so done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tom, you are first. Okay. My signature dish is a meal that actually already exists, but I think we prepare it for the lava inspiration. And it's a dish very well known to foodies here in Minnesota. And it is a dish called the Juicy Lucy. Mm -hmm. And if you've not known it, if you're not from Minnesota, this is a hamburger that is cooked with cheese inside so, so it's not like it's not, you don't you don't make a hamburger and then put cheese on top like a cheeseburger. You put the cheese inside. It's infused magic somehow. I don't know how, but you make a juicy Lucy. You put the bun on. That is the earth. That's the earth right there. The hot, gooey cheese in the middle of the hamburger. That's the lava. And when you bite into the juicy Lucy, be very careful because it's hot, and it kind of oozes out. So. Instead of Juicy Lucy, is there a lava-inspired name you would give it? The Juicy Lava. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Or the Lava Lucy. The Lava, lava Lucy. Lava the, lava I got it. Yeah, yeah, that lava. sounds a little bit yeah. more appetizing. The Lava Lucy. <laughs> and the Juicy Lava E. <laughs> okay, that sounds delicious. Yes. Jed, what is your dish? My dish, Kate, is a dessert that is based on the Thixotropic properties of quicksand it is a chocolate pudding into which has been sunk delectable truffles it's garnished with a miniature cookie statue of tom looking so sad (laughs) as he sinks into the glorious superiority of quicksand (laughs) oh wow another delicious dish kate you're gonna have to decide who gets the point for this final round and wins the debate oh yeah does your dish have a name Stupid pudding. <laughs> <laughs> quick chocolate thunder. Ooh, quick chocolate thunder. I, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so we have Lava Lucy and quick chocolate thunder. <laughs> <laughs> From down under? <laughs> <laughs> so, which of these two dishes would you choose? This is so hard. I know. You just got to pick. Go with your gut. Okay. Close your eyes. What, what pops into your it's head? It's like picking a college. <laughs> <laughs> That's easy <laughs> compared to this. I mean, I have a new perspective on quicksand now. Mm-hmm. I do like the name for the burger <laughs> a lot. I do too. <laughs> um, I say just close your eyes and which one pops into your head first? The, the one that pops in my head first is quicksand. No! <laughs> because you're so smart. <laughs> Kate, so what sealed the deal for you? Um, was it close? I mean, obviously it was close. It was very close. Um, I guess I just learned. Like, I haven't really, you know, learned about it. You opened your mind up and quicksand filled it? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Kind of all I knew about it was just from the movies, you know, kind of. Oh, no, I'm trapped. So you didn't fully appreciate how fascinating it was before today. Yeah. All right, debaters, you both fought very hard, but do you feel like you learned something today? I'm going to go get a Juicy Lucy. A Lava Lucy. A Lava Lucy. <laughs> yeah. I'd love to, love to think I, I learned some things today. Excellent. I think this was pretty intense because they yeah. can't even say that many nice things to each other. <laughs> <laughs> I like your shirt. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, we heard Kate's verdict today, but I am sure there are some other opinions out there. If your tally came out differently, if we missed some majorly cool facts about lava and quicksand, head to our website. You can cast your vote and send us a message at smashboom.org. Okay, debaters, would you mind helping me with the credits? Sure. Okay, I'll start. Smash Boom Best is brought to you by Brains On and American Public Media. It's produced by Alyssa Dudley, Mark Sanchez, Sandin Totten, and Molly Bloom. We had engineering help today from Corey Shreppel. Production help comes courtesy of Lauren D. and John Lambert. Tom and Jed, is there anybody you guys want to thank? I'd like to shout out to the Thompson Kim clan of Eloise, Elliot, Alice, and Kevin, and also to Tamara Lindstrom. I'd like to thank Jess Phoenix, who you heard in my argument, the one who lost the pocket knife to nature because she loves her work so much. Thanks, Jess. Is there anyone you want to thank, Kate? Um, I want to thank my parents for supporting me, my my cats as well. <laughs> they, <laughs> they already gave your acceptance speech today. Oh, I know. <laughs> I mean, my, my cats are very there for me, too. We want to thank the voice of our whole music, Brenna Everson, our announcer, Marley Foyer Worker Otto, and the listeners that shared their opinions at the top of the show. That's Olivia Armitage, Stella Armitage, Eva Wormington, Jane Wormington, and Silas Newton. And before we go, let's check in with Mark and Philip, the brothers who sent us their idea for a penguin versus dinosaur debate. Here's what they had to say. Penguins love the land because they are so nice and they're faggers. And I think dinosaurs would uh, win because uh, dinosaurs don't just come in carnivores, they come in carnivores, herbivores, and omnivores. Dinosaurs versus penguins, pizza versus tacos, unicorns versus dragons. This has been one crazy season of smash boom battles. We've had the best time and we hope you have too. This is our last episode of the season, but smash boom best will hopefully be back with more epic matchups soon. In the meantime, we could use your help. Since you love the show, we need your help to grow. Please head to Apple Podcasts and give us a bunch of stars. Write us a review. Mention us on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram. Tell anyone and everyone about the show. If enough people listen, we'll be able to keep turning your ideas into epic showdowns. So until next time. See you